Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to take a look at old Betaflight and old hardware. Uh, this guy right here. Now you remember those purple BBB motors? I think these are 1104, 5000 KV or 6000 KV. Gym fan, 2540 props. Those are pretty good props still. Um, pretty reliable props. Uh, this has got the Speedix flight stack in it. It's the IS-20. VTX on this flight stack is not good. Uh, and the camera up front is the Foxeer Falcor. I can't remember the <clears throat> excuse me name of the frame, but uh, it's I think the name of the frame is in the DVR, so you can uh, look at that if you want to. But this is part of me trying to help people by helping them not hurt themselves as far as they're hurting their quads. So I've I've helped a lot of people, or I've tried to help as much as I can help people. Uh, essentially retune some quads that came out of the box with, say, Betaflight 4.1, maybe 3.5.7, which was a really good version of Betaflight as well. And they decided to flash it for their own reasons, and then it didn't fly very well afterwards. And it's really hard to do that tuning, at least for me. It's very hard to do the tuning from looking at it, uh, as far as the DVR footage, not being able to hear it. And, of course, I can't feel how it's responding on the stick. So I, I'm kind of... A guy who needs to tune my own stuff. But I've been trying to help, and it, it seems to me that we've got far too many people that are flashing Betaflight right away. I've seen a number of postings on Facebook. You know, my Mobula 6 just came in. Should I put Emu on it? Should I put Betaflight, you know, 421 on it? They just got it. Fresh out of the box. I have requests for tunes. Does anybody have a tune for this? And I... If, if you're wanting to do that, you know, I'm not trying to be ultra negative. And that's one of the reasons why I had troubles thinking of how to post this video. You do what you want to do. My concern is you're doing things that's going to keep you from being able to have fun and fly. And so hopefully this is at least somewhat entertaining, entertaining, excuse me, for most people. We're going to take some seriously old hardware, seriously old beta flat. We're going to take it out to the windy yard. I flew three packs and uh, you're going to see the third pack on this. I did not retune it. I just, uh, I found this without motors sitting in a box over there. I put motors on it. And I was actually thinking about preparing it to be in a giveaway. Because there's no reason in stuff like this just sitting in a box. You know, if I can package two or three of these together that might not be, you know, recognizable quads. Then they can go to somebody and they can have a good time. So that's kind of where I was going. But then I thought this could be useful. So if you're not adept at tuning or you only have one quad my advice don't flash or change anything if you got two quads and you don't like how one of them flies tinker to your heart's desire but one working quad at least okay let's get into the dvr got ourselves a super windy day i shouldn't say super i think it was 15 mile an hour winds Probably had some gusts that pop up above that. And something that I noticed about this is there was a range of Fox Ear cameras that the sky was really blue on, and this one isn't really blue. I wouldn't say it's true to life blue, but it sure didn't have that poppy blue that we oftentimes see in Fox Ear cameras. Maybe it's their racing line that did that. Uh, but you're going to see me make some mistakes. You're going to see me be, be a little bit sloppy. You're going to uh, notice some flight characteristics that aren't good. And keep in mind, you know, this is three years old. The beta flight version, I think all the hardware is at least three years old. At least I would expect all the hardware. Maybe the motors are slightly newer than that. Uh, but the props and everything else should have been at least three years old. So uh, th this is... Just a proof of concept that even with an old version of Betaflight, not even an old good version of Betaflight, this is 331. If I were to step back to a good old version of Betaflight, it'd be 357, which was actually really good. I'd fly Betaflight 357 all day. There's nothing wrong with that. So this was just kind of uh, one more step in trying to provide the community kind of a stopgap. I know a lot of other people have been trying to help with tunes as well. I see all the postings on Facebook. I get all the messages and, and emails and Instagram. And I've really noticed a pickup in the last probably 8 to 10 months of people needing help with tunes. And not tunes on a build, tunes on a bind and fly quad. And it's not very often that we have bind and fly quads that come out anymore that don't already have a pretty good tune on them. Uh, so if you're looking to get into the hobby, my advice is to learn to fly, 
Don't worry about what's on your quad. Don't worry about the props that are on your quad. Don't worry about the motors. Don't worry about the beta flight version. If your quad flies and your equipment allows you to fly it effectively, then go have fun. Don't worry about all the other things. Um, you know, there, there, there's no cheat code to this. Just practice and fly and have fun. There's no reason to short circuit the process because the process is actually one of the really rewarding parts of accomplishing this goal of flight and this experience of flight and being able to do uh, what you want and have the confidence that you're not going to break something and that you're not going to crash. And of course you get surprised because you make a mistake and you do crash. But I, I'm not, I'm worried. I worry this video is going to come off hyper negative. That's not my point. My point is actually the opposite. I'm trying to help people have more fun um, by not doing something to their quad that they're not ready to do yet. You know, give yourself some time. Again, if you got two quads and you don't like one, how one flies, by all means, flash it, fix it. But otherwise, keep at least one working quad alone. Land now! Poor battery. So I really killed that battery. That battery got a special little mark on it so I can keep track of it, see if the performance really falls off. Um, so hopefully this video doesn't come off negative. That's not my point at all. I think most of you that come to the channel know that uh, I, I don't tend to be negative Nelly about too many things. M my concern is, you know, I've said it so many times, I should just stop. If you got a good working quad, leave it alone. <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy it. Fly it. You're going to break it soon enough. Don't break it on your own will. We're going to get back to reviews. You know, I had a long stretch of really terrible weather, and I've kind of been teasing things that are coming up. I've been working on that stuff. You know, I don't do, you know, one-day reviews, so it takes me a while once the weather clears to kind of stack up all those flights over a series of days. I think tomorrow, the one I'm going to work on as far as the review side, I think you're going to enjoy that one. I don't know when it'll be out. It'll probably be out the day after tomorrow, but uh, I had a good time with a particular quad. Uh... It's a DJI quad, if that helps clue you in. A little teaser. Really, the long and the short of it is, if you're new to the hobby, or if you are helping someone get involved in the hobby, and you're recommending a quad for someone, uh, you know, lead them in with the advice of, hey, this is a good quad. It comes with a good tune. When you get it, just bind it up, set up the OSD like you like, and the, and the modes, uh, your switches, those personal things that we all have set up a little bit differently but leave the version of beta flight or whatever firmware it comes with leave that alone and just learn to fly and learn to enjoy it of course the computer simulator it's a great place to learn to fly too i found that i've recently done some simming and i i'm way better at actually flying than i am simming so hopefully this was a video that you found useful got a little bit of entertainment at least something to do for a couple of minutes today uh, please, uh, if you find anyone who needs to hear this advice and you think I've done a reasonable job, you might uh, share the video with them. If you have any other things to add to the video, please leave it down in the comment section below. I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.